how to value a company as a professional? Well, it depends on what kind of company it is. When we categorize it, there are at least five categories we can look at. First of all, it's for the established businesses in the middle market or lower middle market, private companies. Those companies are usually valued based on the multiple, either it's revenue or EBITDA multiples. That's also backward looking to look at the revenue and financials, the EBITDA for the past uh, few years. And based on that, look at the past uh, 10 years of present the transaction and look at what was the multiple when it was sold. And uh, second category is some firms are growing so fast and it's kind of unfair to value because we need to actually look into the forward looking and see the potential of the business assets of making more cash flow in the future. If that's the case, we need to use the value of the growing perpetuity is the cash flow divided by the the cost of capital minus growth rate. So as you can see, the higher the growth rate is, the higher the value is. So that shows the valuation of the highly, highly growing firms, right? Growth firms. So the third category is also forward looking. When we look at DCF, it's also called discounted cash flow. So it can be for private or public companies that can discount the cash flow by one plus R and uh, times the, well, not the square the power of the number of years. So that's the DCF method, which is also forward looking, usually projected out for seven years. So the fourth category is the market cap. That's usually for public companies. The share price times the number of shares is usually the market cap. And that's just the equity portion. Of course, there's going to look at debt and usually look at the total enterprise value is uh, the equity plus debt and minus cash. And when we also, there's a final last category is for business asset sales. Sometimes the business is not profitable. So it's kind of, and also it's kind of a smaller business that doesn't really have a lot of potential to grow. In those situations, we'll be purely looking at the business assets and see what's the replacement value of that business assets or potential to generate more income. So anyway, so that's the at least the five categories of how to value a company as a professional. Thank you. Bye-bye.